Microsoft's making some interesting changes to Windows, and I think it's worth discussing. Microsoft just did something really interesting yesterday when it comes to Windows. Some of you might be saying, well, Brad, they really didn't do anything. We didn't get a new build of Windows 10. We didn't get anything else. So what did they do that was interesting? Well, Microsoft, for the first time in a very, very long time, I think since like maybe Vista days or maybe even earlier, released something called a Windows Feature Experience Pack. And the name just rolls right off the tongue. This one is actually called Windows Feature Experience, pa Experience Pack 120.2212.3. 1.0. Now that's probably not going to be the shipping name or whenever they do ship this stuff, but you need to put this into context of everything that we have been hearing so far. We've been hearing, and I've been hearing from internally uh, sources close to the, the projects and uh, from external sources as well, that Microsoft is looking to make some big changes to Windows next year. Now we've heard things like Sun Valley. We're also hearing that Android apps uh, coming to the desktop are also on the agenda and that there's just a lot of potential changes coming to Windows, which honestly, Honestly, at one point, Microsoft just kind of just was going to ride, you know, it into the sunset, but now they're reinvestment and, and doing some fun things again. Um, but what we're hearing is that the first update, the 21H1, is going to be real small, and then the update in the fall is going to be much larger and do, you know, add more UI elements and a lot of other stuff. The, the picture is still coming together. I mean, we're about a year away, so um, just keep that in mind. The reason why this is really interesting is that from a maintenance and ownership and servicing perspective, there's a lot of challenges with the fall release because that is the release that Microsoft has been promising that they would support for 30 months in the enterprise. But it's typically not a good thing to introduce a whole bunch of new changes in a fall release because then your enterprise customers are going to be angry because they don't want to deal with this stuff. They just want a baseline Windows version that can run their apps and everything else. And so they need to find a balance between stability and longevity with the Windows release, but also being able to update it with new features and functionality. Now, this is where I think these feature experience packs are gonna be coming in. Microsoft, during the past couple of years, or honestly, you could probably potentially tie it all the way back to Windows 10, they've been decoupling certain features from the Windows itself. Namely, like you can look at Edge, while Edge, I don't think will necessarily be included in the Windows feature experience pack, but look at Edge. Edge used to only be updated every time they shipped a new build of Windows. Well, now they're updating it outside Windows and it's being updated like every six to eight weeks, something like that, or even faster, depending on where you, what ring you're in. Now, there's also a bunch of other features inside of Windows and an easy example is the snipping tool. It's no longer part of Windows. It's its own standalone app and it can now be updated independently of the OS. And Microsoft has been doing that sort of updates to many different apps across the OS. And now what we're starting to see is that Microsoft is servicing those apps specifically outside of a build update. What I think we're gonna to continue to see throughout 2021 are more features being included in these experience packs so that Microsoft can ship an updated experience pack that will enhance you know, apps and functionality without touching the OS and make the end user happy. Also make the IT pro happy because they're no longer having to deal with all this stuff because I would imagine that you're absolutely gonna be able to block these experience packs with, uh, with the, the dev tools that Microsoft provides, or I should say IT pro admin tools. Um, and so I really think that these feature experience packs, if you're a Windows fan, are what you need to be paying attention to. Yes, Windows 10X is absolutely something you should be too, but a lot of us are running the bread and butter uh, of Windows, which is Windows 10 proper, and we've been waiting to see how Microsoft is going to balance their enterprise customers while also trying to push forward the consumer iteration so that it doesn't become just stagnated. And here we are with these experience packs. So be on the lookout for how Microsoft is gonna be managing these things. I think this is gonna be a big deal. I also think this is a pretty big update to how Microsoft is gonna be servicing Windows going forward in that you're gonna have more enterprise uh, core functionality and then more consumer functionality arriving these in these packs. And so it's an interesting change. It's just something that you should be aware of if you're a fan of Windows.